Hey there, everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel, uh, Seagrave Serpentarium. This is, I guess, kind of my intro video for the channel. Um, I'm going to give a little bit of an explanation for you know, what I am planning on doing. Uh, so a little bit of background on me. I have a bachelor's degree in ecology and evolutionary biology from the University of Connecticut. And uh, I've kept reptiles on and off for most of my life. Uh, I've started when I was really young with um, had an iguana, some anoles, or anoles, however you want to say it, um, and had an eastern box turtle for several years as well. My mom never let me kept, uh, keep snakes, but those are what I always wanted most. Um, and recently my wife and I got this house and moved in. So um, I'm starting up a snake collection. Uh, I'm starting a YouTube channel to do reptile education. And uh, hopefully at some point I'll have enough snakes to do um, educational presentations with them. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, yeah, leave it there uh, in terms of um, you know my experience and stuff. And then bring it upstairs to uh, meet the two snakes. Okay, this is the snake room um, where I plan on keeping snakes uh, overall. Right now we only have one snake in here, uh, my wife's snake is still in our bedroom where he's in quarantine. He's all through his quarantine period now. I uh, just haven't gotten around to making a spot for him in here. Uh, so I'll show you the first snake. Uh, and I got uh, some HVAC tape on the uh, lid here to uh, make him feel a little bit more secure. So. Anyway, here's Doc. His colors are a little bit dull. He's getting kind of close to going into shed. Uh, but he doesn't mind being handled at this stage in his shed cycle. He's a pretty calm and confident little guy. Um, and yeah, this is my corn snake. Um, he's about two years old. I've had him a little over six months now. And yeah, he has been terrific. I just love this little guy so much. He is the best. Anyway, um, that's it for this room. And I'll move it into the quarantine room and show you the all night on. Alright, this is the quarantine tank setup that I have for my wife's baby ball python. And uh, we'll get enrichment in here for him. Let's just grab this little guy and show him off. This here is Slick Mister. My wife's hatchling ball python. He is also just so terrific. Very calm uh, little snake here. Oh, I did spook him a little bit there, but usually he's a pretty relaxed guy. Um, his morph is um, pastel, um, hidden gene woma, and then fire slash vanilla plus, which I believe means uh, the plus, I think, means that he might have some other stuff in there. I'm not particularly well versed in uh, morphs. Um, so yeah, he has been with us since he was uh, nine weeks old, uh, back in late November. Uh, so he is, I don't know, about somewhere around four months old now. He has been just terrific for us as well. Um, real sweet little guy. Anyway, that's it for the snakes that we have right now. Um, in the future, I'm hoping there's going to be plenty more where that came from. Um, looking at possibly a hog island boa soon, um, or maybe a blood python. Those two are the ones I'm currently most interested in. All right, so uh, yeah, those are the two snake enclosures that I have currently. Um, let's see, oh, one other thing I did want to go over. You may notice that the um, video has the date, time, and temperature at which this was recorded. That's because I'm filming this on a uh, trail cam or a camera trap 
uh, that I got for Christmas because I don't know how to make YouTube videos yet, but uh, hopefully I'll get that figured out. I might stick with this camera though. I might like that aesthetic of having, um, you know, all of my videos be on a, a camera trap, uh, but we'll see. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions on uh, go to affordable ways to film uh, better than I currently am, feel, feel free to let me know. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up more or less here. I also just wanted to say that, you know, with it being a little more than a day since Brian Barczyk's goodbye video, um, you know, that uh, my heart goes out to him and his family and all of his friends. Um, I've personally survived uh, lymphoma, and my grandmother passed away from uh, pancreatic cancer, so I have a little bit of personal experience with that one. Um, and yeah, again, just wanted to uh, you know, give my sympathies to him and his family. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I know that's a bit of a side note to end it on, but... You know, considering the timing of when this is being recorded and uploaded and just the huge important role that Brian has played in the reptile industry and um, especially the YouTube reptile community, um, I just felt like I couldn't really make this video without you know, giving a mention to him and uh, what him and his family are going through, uh, as well as his phenomenal contributions over the years. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, everyone, and um, yeah, I'll try to get another one out soon.